Many years ago, in the war-torn streets of South Korea, a simple concept was forged through the relentless vision of one man. Enduring the hardships of extreme poverty, this man worked tirelessly day and night to actualize the idea that a person can improve their life and fortune through the discipline of martial arts. As he mastered techniques passed on to him, he and others inspired to join his vision began to develop new techniques into a groundbreaking style known as Songam Taekwondo. The man was Ang Ung Lee. Encouraged by Richard Reed, a young American with whom he had become close friends, H. U. Lee set out across the ocean. Upon arriving in the United States, he encountered more difficulties such as language and cultural differences. But the philosophy of Songham Taekwondo is that any obstacle can be overcome as long as you continue to try. Songham Taekwondo transcended all barriers of language, ethnicity, gender, age, and physical ability. And as the technique continued to evolve, H. U. Lee knew that with these basic principles, nothing could keep him from sharing that vision with the world. The American Taekwondo Association was born. Over the years, the organization would thrive, changing the lives of over one million people across six continents. Chu Lee brings the World Championship of Taekwondo to Little Rock again this the year. The state's largest annual convention, 25,000 martial arts students in attendance. The opening event is becoming so big they had to move it from the smaller State House Convention Center to the largest indoor the arena. The biggest convention of the year is in town. They're certainly getting their kicks this weekend at the 25th Annual American Taekwondo World Championship. ATA has held its World Tournament in Little Rock for the past 28 years, and each time it gets bigger and better. Taekwondo I thank you for joining us and saying good morning, America. Someday I'll have as many medals as the Grand Master has here. Master H. U. Lee. How do you do? Thank you. Each person was touched by H. U. Lee's vision that empowerment through discipline and confidence will make you more successful in life. After his passing in 2000, H. U. Lee was honored with the title of Eternal Grand Master. And in the summer of 2007, a monument and garden were erected for his strength of leadership in both the ATA and in the community. The torch of leadership has been passed on to Soon Ho Lee, who continues to uphold the valued traditions while guiding the ATA into the new millennium and future generations. Born of an ancient tradition in the East and refined to perfection in America. I proudly present to you the people who continue to teach, guide, instruct, and inspire us. Ladies and gentlemen, Songam Taekwondo.